Hi, my name is Mark Keen. I'm here to introduce a brand new dredge that we're really excited to show you. This is called the Model 6220 Supermax dredge. Um, as you can tell, probably the main feature on this dredge is going to be the the, uh, the two side boxes that we have equipped on the dredge. Um, to summarize what we're trying to accomplish here, we're trying to get, build the absolute best dredge in the world, which we have done, that is going to capture fine gold that you have never ever seen before. I didn't even think we were losing this fine gold, but evidently we were and every other dredge in the world is losing it as well. We're actually able to catch gold 100, 200, 300, even finer gold in these two side boxes, which we've never seen in the past. Um, we've been doing the bulk of our testing in some areas, not be here in California, unfortunately at the moment, but uh, doing some really hardcore testing in some very practical conditions like in the Philippines. So I've got a couple of customers, or actually a dealer helping me over there right now. So I'm going to kind of run. I just got a, I was just talking to a customer of, mine, customer of mine from Nome, Alaska, and I set him up with this box, and he said he's, he's working areas that people have been working for years and has worked over heavily, and he's doing a consistent like quarter to half ounce an hour of just gold that's in the probably in the 30 to 100 mesh range. So he's extremely happy with that, and also another guy in the Philippines customer said he's really doing well with it. Okay, so systems. All right, now that I have the classifier screen up, and again, we're using the, the woven wire mesh, we found it works very good, again, because it keeps creates a lot of drag on the water, and it uh, slows it down, and it allows the, the finer particulate to fall, fall through. And so the water actually has to really push right through the sump system, doing a better, or creating a better drop or a better efficient separation system of the sand going into the lower box. Like, uh, like I said before, I have the one in the Philippines, which is very, very similar to this one, and it is just finding phenomenal gold. Again, gold I've never seen in my lifetime. Um, so that kind of covers the basic sluice. Really, the, the bulk of the material that's going through here is going to be, you know, 500 mesh silt and sand and, and really not much stuff bigger than sand, because let's face it, in a gold recovery system, the sluice box is going to catch all the visible gold. We're going to catch every, you know, probably everything down to close to 100 mesh, and you'll lose some of the, the finer stuff. But with this system, all the sand goes into here, and all the sand goes into the side box. And I don't care if it's a two, 300 mesh particle of gold, it's going to, it's going to get stuck in this ripple. It works that good because it's a... All right, I've already got the optimum recovery system right here, so you might as well take advantage of it. See, most of the time when you're running, like, let's say, a six-inch dredge, you're going to be transporting home, let's say, four or five-gallon buckets of concentrates at the end of the day. Well, that's a lot of material to sort through. That can take hours and hours to process that material. But you've already got the ultimate concentration system right here. So the best way to handle it is to use, let the dredge do the work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first go up and I'm going to clean both my side boxes out. And that's probably where I'm going to find the bulk of my 100, 200, 300 mesh gold is going to be in the side boxes. So I'm going to clean them up, wash them out into a wash tub. But really, all the concentrates I'm going to have in these two side boxes really isn't going to come up to be more than, let's say, a oh, let's say if it's a, a standard large coffee can, about maybe a quarter full of coffee can, or maybe even an eighth inch full of a coffee can of concentrate. Not much volume. But we've already got these here, so we might as well use them to clean up the main slip. So now to do a cleanup, when I start right here, I'm going to take this riffle board here, and I'm going to remove it. I'm going to flip it upside down, and I'm going to wash. I've now got all my ripples are removed, okay? And I have just one engine running, and all the material is, is washing over here. I might even have to rake some of the rocks out. And if you do have any big gold, you want to check along this line here, because you could have, hopefully, some, some gold nuggets piled up on the screen. But you don't have enough water velocity and enough force to wash the gold over the edge. So now, now, now here's the, the cool thing. A normal cleanup procedure would probably take us, let's say, if you, if you have a little practice under normal conditions, maybe maybe 20, 30 minutes, something like that. But with this process here, we can take that same cleanup process, we can probably kick it down to maybe 10, 15 minutes, which is an amazing time save, saver. And instead of taking your, your two to four or five gallon buckets back to camp, you take now maybe a half a coffee can of concentrates, and you're going to have the cleanest, purest black sand and gold you've ever seen. So we've now eliminated going back to camp and processing, you know, massive amounts of concentrates. Let alone you're going to save gold like you've never seen in your life. Remember, this 
the, the Super Max series with all the, the side boxes and stuff, it is capable of recovering one, two, three, four, even some 500 mesh gold. It really is a completely cut above any machine ever built in it.